Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the Stars Tarot. So, meditating on the energy just a little bit, but I didn't go too far into it because it seems like it's a mess. Um, for whoever this message is for, I am picking up on, I mean, it could just be that it's it's one person, but honestly, I'm picking up on like two or three main um, females that are involved in this. They seem to all kind of be connected and squabbling. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like I should like title this the, the three karmic crows or something because I really feel like there's some weird energy going on and it's shysty, it's petty, and I I feel like there's a lot of like, I don't know, malicious words and nastiness going on behind the scenes. We've got the Queen of Swords coming out. <sighs> Yeah, so it could be that it's an air sign, but what I'm more so getting, because I'm picking up predominantly on, it's not out here yet, but don't worry, they'll appear. Um, I'm picking up more on like this earth sign feminine, a fire sign feminine, maybe even a water, but heavy on the earth and the fire. Um, there's also air sign energy actually currently on the board, so it could be any of the elements, really. Um, but they are, like, nasty, like, just cold, heartless, evil bitches is what I'm getting. Tower. The moon. Okay. I'm kind of excited, because I'm hoping this is a good thing. We've got Seven of Wands reversed and the Lovers. Hmm. Okay. So there could have been a very low vibrational air sign feminine. It could specifically be a Gemini. For a lot of you, it is. Um, this person tried to... I, I really feel like this was like some kind of magic to be honest with y'all the seven of wands coming out reversed with the moon and then the tower coming out that's letting me know that all the energy that was sent out came right back and it uh, blew up in their face so yeah you had someone some kind of wicked feminine hater that was I don't know, I guess they thought they could do some Hocus Pocus or a VD Kadivi on you and oh shit, oh it's hurt. They might have spent money. Alright, so for some of you, there is um, either a air sign, a earth sign, or a fire sign feminine. I'm really picking up strongly on just feminine energy. It could be a masculine, um, but for the majority of you, I feel like it is like a like maybe someone's wife and her sister and then their aunt or like I don't know it's like three the three sisters or like two friends and like I, I don't know it's weird it sounds like they all just like that's what they do they just sit around in their little shit nest and they squawk at each other about ugh I don't like their energy at all um very nasty very malicious very cold very heartless ruthless like does not care they don't give a fuck it's almost it's kind of it's concerning because i feel like for some of you maybe like one or two people that is in this little group of uh like this coven or this friend group that's hating on you i, I don't know what this is this could be an ex her sister and their friends or a baby mama. I I don't I don't know what this is. This could be a a, a mom and a a daughter and a sister for some of y'all, but I don't know. They might have spent money, like paid for someone to do spiritual work on you, and it didn't work. It backfired. For others of you, they did spiritual work on you. Um. And for some of you, it might have been specifically to hurt your pockets, to maybe block your income, to slow things down. 
um, maybe to make you miss a payment or like, I, I don't know, something weird, something petty, but it did not work. But, but for a lot of you, the majority of the energy I'm feeling out here is very combative. It's very aggressive. It's very hateful. It's very spiteful and it's cold. It's very cold hearted. Um, I really feel like whatever was sent out, like, I don't know if they actually went full blown, like trying to do some kind of ritual and there was some kind of technicality, a math, a science to it or whatever. I don't know. I don't practice that kind of stuff. So I, I don't know too much about it, but what I can um, perceive of the truth is the energy that was intended how this person was feeling, what they were thinking, and what they wanted. Like, what they were putting out was hate. It was to hurt you. This was hateful. This was malicious. They wanted to hurt you. But, I mean, you're not out here, collective. You have not showed up in this. So, this is going on outside, around. You just, for some of you, you got... Some people that are actually freaking doing like black magic or witchcraft or they're just hating on you and they're talking a lot of shit. Maybe they're spreading lies or rumors. But I mean, for whoever this is really for, I'm picking up more. So this is like spiritual warfare. They tried to send something out that was very hateful and um, it's backfired terribly, like blown up in their faces. Something might have actually blown up in their face. I'm seeing a candle pop like violently like it like and I'm hearing screams and like I'm actually what I'm seeing in my mind is I'm seeing a tin foil tray and I'm seeing like herbs and stuff on it and I, like there's other things in this it's like the those uh trays you would uh like cook something in for like Thanksgiving if you were trying to cook like a big batch of uh like a side dish or something you would put it in there it's like a two inches thick um but yeah, I'm seeing one of those and it's real dark in the room and I'm seeing there being like a bunch of like herbs or plants, maybe like some hand, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling like knots or like ropes or like, but I'm feeling, I'm not so much seeing this. I'm feeling the energy of someone like pulling on something and like tightening and pulling and like muttering something under their breath while they're doing it. Um, I'm also seeing like a, 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 this could be like actually be like a voodoo doll or something. It's in this, tr this tinfoil aluminum tray, this cooking tray. And there's like a bunch of herbs and other stuff in it and oils and there's candles in it. And then I'm seeing as the candle got down low where it got close to the stuff, it actually like it popped really loud and it shot like wax and herbs and stuff across and it got real dark and I heard the um I heard there was like literally there was three women in this dark room and they screamed when it popped so like this might have literally blown up in their face that was a very specific download so that was I don't know who that was for um but that had to come through apparently. Yeah, but we've got the seven of wands coming out here with the fool. They're both reverse. So that's letting me know whatever they shot out, it went right back. Whatever they were trying to do, it failed. It reversed. They do not get to pass go. This was a complete failure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Someone can't sleep now. Someone's being like, I'm hearing possessed. Honestly, this could be a feminine. A water sign feminine is... Oh, man. What the hell? What the fuck? So, for some of you... Alright, there's a couple energies going on here. I'm going to try to hit them all uh, efficiently. For some of you, you are celebrating. Um, You've, like, I feel like you have some kind of new career, new profession, new abundance. Maybe some kind of new promotion. Uh, a change in income. Just something is looking really well for you, career and finances wise, and it feels like it's fresh and it's new or it just got kicked up a notch and you're celebrating that and someone is really upset about this and I think that's part of the reason why they sent all this shit out to you. Like they were part of paying. So, all right, for some of you, this is a water sign feminine that paid 
for someone to do spell work. Like pay someone that was said they were in a coven or whatever to actually do spell work on it. And I think that might have been who I saw was the uh, hired practitioners. Um, and it literally exploding in their face. Uh, and like It's like they... They're pissed off that you're su sufficient, abundant, that you're making money, um, and they wanted to hurt you. They were mad at you. They were pissed off that you were successful and happy. So for and wow, that's fucked up. For some of you guys, that's your. This is your mom. Now take this as it resonates. Um, if if you have no reason to believe your mom ain't doing that, then leave your mom out of this. This is for the people that. That know that they have parents that really be doing shit to them. And if that's for you, then uh, this is confirmation. Especially if it's a Cancer or a Scorpio. If it's not um, your mom, it could be a mother. So a mother of your child or to someone else irrelevant to you. But... <sighs> oh man, this ain't good. Because someone... Someone has something attached to them, and I'm really, I'm feeling, like, I'm feeling it. Oh, my gosh. I, I, this person's going insane. Like, I'm literally seeing someone, like, screaming, like, blood curdling, screaming, and, like, in agony trying to, like, get something out of them, and they can't get it out of them. It's, like, in their head. It's behind their eyes. They can feel it. They're, like, pulling at their scalp or their head, and they're, like looking in the mirror and like this person's seeing shit they're hallucinating they're not i don't know someone literally might have gotten possessed so i might literally be like channeling on the like the three practitioners because i told you i felt like predominantly like um three women that were working together to do some wicked shit and it not working and uh, also someone else that's connected. So that the one that's connected very well could be someone that hired these practitioners. Oh, oh my goodness. What on earth is going on with the collective today? The good thing is you're not out here. And the even better thing is this shit's all backfiring. So I feel like I'm kind of just giving you like an inside scoop on like maybe you did a return to sender. Maybe you knew there was spell work being done on you and you prayed about it and you noticed it was lifted or like whatever, but you didn't know what happened on the other side. Like you didn't get the other side of the story. You just understood what you experienced in that moment. Well, I guess I'm here to give you what happened on the other side. Yeah, here's that earth sign feminine energy. I told you she was going to come out with the ace of wands and then this eight of swords reversed. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. Yeah, literally, someone is bound. Something is attached to someone's mind, to the brain. I'm literally feeling like shadow tentacle hooks. And it's it's gross. It feels gross. The energy feels gross. Like, I don't even... I kind of feel like I have to touch it in my mind's eye in order to be able to channel with you how I'm, like, perceiving it. And I don't like the way it feels on my hands. But it, it's like slimy tentacle... And it like gets in the like folds of the brain and hooks itself up in. And then like, I don't know, like a leech. Ugh, it, it's it's wicked. It's driving someone insane. They're going fucking crazy from this. Someone else like is, oh my gosh. So someone else, all right. So one of these, I feel like I'm picking up on this, um, this air sign feminine that was attached to this like little coven that tried to come together. And I'm hearing like the power, like, I don't know. These people are weird, y'all. <laughs> There's some weird shit out there. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I told you like the candle exploded in their face. I, I told you that thing I saw in my mind, um, that little scene of them being in a dark room with this stuff in a tinfoil tray and the candle popping and stuff. When this person went home, so they went home and... Like, I'm seeing, like, it was nighttime when they were driving home. Um, Like, and it was, like, right after this. Like, I don't know. I feel like they got spooked. I think there's something else that happened, and I'm not seeing it yet. Um, And it happened right after the candle exploded. But anyways, this person was on their way home. And she was driving a black SUV. Literally, black. Like, I'm seeing black on black. Like, the rims are black. The tires are black. The windows tinted. Um, it, um, for some, like, I'm actually specifically seeing, like, an Audi, 
SUV blacked out tinted. It was raining. Um, the it, the visibility wasn't that great, and like um, I don't know something about like um low visibility and then coming out of intersection and then I I don't really see what happened. It wasn't a wreck. It was just a close call, and I'm feeling their heart rate. I'm feeling the the adrenaline. Um, but they didn't, I don't, I feel like they're okay. They didn't get in a wreck. Um, but then I feel like after that, when they got home, um, so the, something, they, they didn't want to be in one room of their house. They kept, oh God, I don't like that fucking feeling. Oh, get the fuck off me. That made all the hair on my back stand up. Oh shit. I don't know if you've ever, um been in a room where there was mirrors and it was dark and it was at night and like you can't be in that fucking room dog because there's something crawling on you in that mirror and you feel you see you don't want to look in the mirror because you don't want to see what's going to look back at you this person came home and experienced this um and i can i could feel the fear on me um something wicked was in their home and it's this wasn't just a paranoia like something was actually when they did whatever they did i feel like they were trying to do something very demonic they were trying to cast summon send something attach it to you and it's oh my gosh it's affecting all of them differently so i guess i'm just gonna go through the ring of how it affected all of them we know that the feminine the water sign energy is having like this psychotic like schizophrenic episode almost like they're hallucinating they're screaming they want this uh thing that they feel inside their head to get out and they can't and they can literally feel it like they can feel it like slither around their eyes, but they can't see it when they look in the mirror and it drives them fucking crazy because they know it's there. And they're having like night tears. They can't sleep. They're having like um, heart palpitations, sweats, like the water sign's really going through it. The air sign is experiencing what I, like weird things happening outside of them. So, all right, let's get back to that story. She got home. There was a room in her house that she didn't want to be in. It spooked her. I think she like had a weird feeling and like, I guess she... I'm feeling like she just kind of jipped to her room. Um, I feel like there was like some weird noises and knockings and like maybe some like electronic disturbances as she, that um, the air sign feminine was trying to go to bed. But she did manage to get sleep. But then I'm seeing, oh my gosh, this is such a specific download. She wakes up in the next day and she pours her cup of coffee and the coffee mug, it was a brown one. It was brown. It was like, all right, so it was like a, a thick ceramic. It was a good thick ceramic. Like maybe it was made out of red clay um, because I can feel the like the grit of it. Um, And it had like a, a little swoop on the top of the handle. Like someone took their thumb and pushed the clay upward um, at the top of the handle to the mug. But it was painted like more of like a terracotta orangish brown, like a very earthy at the bottom. And then it had like more of a like like a, a speckled granite white kind of like paint or color like that kind of like dripped down over. Um, it split in half in her hand um, like she poured the cup of coffee in it and was holding it in two hands. Um, she had a great, uh, like, sleeve, like, long sleeve hoodie. It, it, it feels like it was a thin hoodie, um, but it could have been, like, a, uh, I don't know what that's called, like, maybe a shawl or something. It was something thin, gray, flowy, um, something just, like, over the skin, very breathable, but it, it, the mug just shattered in her hand, and the hot coffee, it actually, it hurt, like, I'm, I'm hearing, like, swearing and her shaking the hand and flicking the hot coffee off of her and then going to grab something and when she went to grab I'm seeing she went to grab it was a um it was black with red on it it was um a like a kitchen towel and when she went to grab it to clean up the coffee something slid off of the counter and it shattered and she it, like I I'm hearing like a pop and she screamed and then that's enough of that scene I'm not tapping any more past that on this individual. Um, oh my gosh. So I really feel like this is like a major backfire. I really do feel like either like you had someone that came together with others or they paid someone 
that did this kind of work in like a coven kind of setting and it's all backfiring on everyone that was involved um this virgo energy is weird it's for some a lot of you it's virgo for others of you it could be either of the other two earth signs but it, there's definitely an earth sign feminine energy out here as well i'm feeling this is an older because i'm feeling like i'm feeling earrings i'm feeling makeup i'm feeling like maybe like um uh, like a, of a upper class maybe posh or uppity like i'm feeling like this person cares about their appearance because everything feels so like nice and like on the higher end of things this person's in denial um and hasn't experienced anything yet or they're telling themselves they haven't but it was, it's weird because like the feeling i'm getting from this person they have something like looming over their chest it's weird it's a weird feeling it's like it's inside their chest weighing on over them but at the same time it's over their shoulders but like if you like the moment you look at you, you don't i i don't know and this person's ignoring it i feel like this person's skeptical um they didn't really believe in all of this but they just kind of like I don't know. It's either they they kind of got involved in something that they didn't really believe. They they were kind of skeptical and scoffed on it, but they participated in it anyways. Or they are a practitioner and do those things, but they are trying to... They're in denial and they're trying to convince themselves that there isn't weird shit going on ever since they did this energy work. But, once again, we've had all three of these bitches come out here. And your energy ain't... Look, Blood Moon. What the hell? We've got the moon out here. Blood Moon. Blue Moon. Blood Moon. Blue Moon. Moon. What the heck, y'all? This is weird. Beyond the veil. I'm telling you. Someone was trying to do something demonic. Like, I really feel like these people got involved in some really dark, wicked shit. And they were so hateful, spiteful, wanted to destroy you, wanted to hurt you. And they got themselves involved in something that they can't undo. And I don't know, like, I, I really, I just, I, I know what they need to do. But if they were the kind of people that would do what they need to do to help them in this circumstance, they wouldn't be in this circumstance to begin with because they would know better and not do this kind of shit. Oh my gosh. 888. Eight, 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 eight. Actually, we have all four eights out here. And a lot of them are reversed. Or their energy was came out like it, it wasn't direct. 888888. Eight, 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 eight. Yeah. Major backfires. Major um like karma. It like oh my gosh. I feel like it's like I don't know. This is spooky. This feels wicked. Like, I'm probably going to have to say to my room after this shit. Because I don't want whatever is attached to them to go anywhere. I don't like this energy. This is like, um, a, like a real demonic presence. Um, this isn't the same thing as like a, a poltergeist or some supernatural... And I mean, I've I've had my fair shares of demons, but that doesn't mean I'd, I'd necessarily want to go back to those kind of um, uh, hellish scenarios. We've got the King of Swords and the Five of Wands reversed. What's with this King of Swords, Five of Wands reversed? Seven of Swords. Sun, death. All right. So I really feel like this is you guys. And we got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck confirming it. Yeah, absolutely. So you do not have to be a masculine or an air sign. 
You are showing up as the King of Swords, however, because of how you're standing in the mix of this. This has gone on behind the scenes for whoever this is for. Unfortunately, a group of people got together and um, really messed with some very evil stuff uh, with the intentions of hurting you. The good news is that you didn't appear until after we already understood that this shit's biting them in the ass and didn't touch you. That's why you're in the King of Swords. You're in the King of Swords because of... What the fuck? Alright, I don't know what that noise was. It was right beside me. There's nothing behind me. Um, But anyways, moving forward... Sorry, that... That, that that supernatural experience that just happened like right behind me as I'm trying to talk about this kind of spook. No, it didn't spook me, but it I had to stop and try to at least debunk it or figure out what the hell it was. But um, anyways, your mental fortitude, your mind is unbothered. Like you are like, remember how I said they're in this, like for some of you, they have like this nightmares, this enemy, this demonic attachment on their their mental, like their sanity is not well, and they're having night terrors, heart palpitations, like sweats. It's really not good. They're going through like hellish experiences. Meanwhile, you're just chill. Like, meh. Like, nothing's touching you. Um, I also feel like the reason why the, the Seven of Swords came out here is because the whole reason why these people got together and did this foolishness was because they wanted to destroy your happiness. They wanted to hurt you. Um, so that's why the Seven of Swords is out here, because they wanted to steal your light. They wanted to steal your son, your happiness, your blessings. They didn't want you to have it. They hated, they were spiteful. These are jealous, spiteful, envious, nasty people. And they wanted to hurt you because they didn't like that you were happy. But, unfortunately, they decided to do that. And um, there's a harsh ending coming. And it's not for you. You have a 10 energy out here. Which can be endings to cycles. It can also be new beginnings. And yours is, um, your ending is your happy ending. You get a happy ending in this. So, for a lot of you, I am picking up that you very well could be a... Um, a masculine and this is like and a baby mama and like her her mom and her aunt or like i don't know um but regardless of who you are and who these people are to you if this is your message and story you are safe you get the happy ever after ending their intentions did not touch you touch not I anointed once you are safe you are protected and they are going through hell they are bound by whatever they tried to conjure up on you and they can't get free of it and it's 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 pretty dark it's evil like I don't even really want to tap in and give you any more tea on their energy because I don't like how evil the demonic energy that's attached to them like I don't I don't want to tap into that because in order to tap into that, I've got to be aware of the, the darker evil energy that's around them. And I don't want to create a bridge for myself and allow that over here. So I, I rebuke anything anyone sends to anyone that watches my videos, anyone on the collective, anyone on the channel. Um, this kind of shit isn't going to last forever anyways, just because of what's going on on a world level. Um, we already know what time it is, us chosen ones, us that are fighting here, the good fight on earth. The days of people getting away with this kind of shit is over. And this is an example of it. You cannot do this kind of stuff to people. And you sure as hell can't do it to one of God's anointed ones. So I'm going to leave this here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you on the next collective message.